Good evening. An alarming new study on Canada's transgender community has found that trans youth live in fear of being victims of violence and discrimination. This national online survey is one of the first complete studies of its kind, and it provides clarity and insight on the trans youth in Canada. And in our province, our Kennedy Schmidt joins us live from the South Lobby with more on that story. Thanks guys. The study says that about 75% of youth in Alberta face discrimination. Although these numbers seem high, the transgender community is not necessarily surprised by these results. This is just sort of everyday stuff almost. Max Quilliam is a transgender McEwen University student. Quilliam is an active member in the transgender community as well as in the LGBTQ community. He says that although all groups face opposition, the trans community has specific barriers that others do not. Although the LGBT community has made like like many steps in the previous years, like we have same-sex marriage like in pretty much most of North America now, right? But trans rights are sort of set back a bit more than we like to account for, like because there's still such a misunderstanding of um, alternative like gender identities. Having your identity not be recognized does have a lot of pressure behind it and does give you a lot of mental weight which um, really explains like the higher rates of like mental illness and like trans youth and then like furthermore like the higher rates of suicide in that community. The Canadian Trans Youth Health Survey includes a regional report on Alberta which is the first of its kind for the province. 114 youth from Alberta participated in the survey, making up 12% of all participants. In the province, 4% of participants said they had an excellent mental health status, while 38% reported having a poor mental health. So for the first time ever, now we have that quantified data that is um, um, really focused in on painting a picture of what their everyday experiences are in their schools, in their communities, with their families, and in the healthcare system. Dr. Wells says that although the educational system has made good steps towards supporting these groups, the survey shows that more could be done. Trans youth in Alberta reported they don't feel very connected to their schools, and on a scale of 0 to 10, they scored a 4.7. When schools are not safe environments for like trans people, gay people, even like people who are like racialized like those like when there isn't adequate information and adequate representation in those spaces it leads to more hate and misunderstanding most post-secondary schools in Edmonton have LGBTQ clubs that meet on a regular basis the club at McEwen meets every Tuesday and the pride club here at Nate meets every other Thursday the clubs are inclusive to all groups and anyone is welcome to attend. Kennedy, what are some of the barriers that the trans youth community face? Well, so as I mentioned before, this is the first study of its kind here in Alberta. The main issue facing this group in the past is that there hasn't been any research to document the experience of trans youth. Therefore, it's created a lack of understanding and knowledge in the environment around them. So what are some of the things that we can be done to help lower these statistics? Well, researchers suggest that supporting families with trans youth, creating safer schools, and making health care more accessible are some of the first steps to building a more supportive and knowledgeable environment for the trans youth in Alberta.